What's up, Steelers Nation? This is the Steelers Guru, right back at you, doing my roster cuts reaction. Um, some interesting names on the cut list, uh, as you can see right here. Uh, I thought they really liked Keon Adams, but obviously not enough to keep him on the roster. Now, surprising minds, I would have kept Brian Allen, especially over Cody Sensabaugh. Cody Sensabaugh is just trash. Um, I guess you could say he's versatile. He plays in a slot. He can play on the outside, but he gets burnt in a slot, and he gets burned on the outside. So what's the point of keeping him if every position he plays, he's going to get burnt? Uh, Brian Allen was a young guy. He didn't have the greatest preseason, but remember, he didn't play cornerback until his senior year of college. So it's still room to grow there. And plus, he has size at 6'1". Uh, 210, 215 pounds where I thought he could have got a look at safety as well. Plus, Brian Allen was only on the books for 555000 this year. Cody Sensabaugh is due to make $1.4 million, so three times more than Brian Allen. I would have kept Brian Allen and cut Cody Sensabaugh. Cody Sensabaugh got burnt when he got into the games last year. He got burnt this preseason. My man is just uh, attractive to fire I guess I don't know man but he just keeps getting burned every time he gets into the game okay who else uh, was a surprise on the list uh, LeVon Hooks was a little bit of surprise he flashed a little bit during the preseason um, he's a young guy still but you know we let him go uh, we obviously had trouble towards the end of the season last year stopping a run uh, and I thought the way he was growing during this preseason, and maybe he could have helped out in that area, but they didn't think that way. So uh, off, off with his head, I guess. Now Landry Jones. Everybody has a reaction to Landry Jones, and, and rightfully so. Uh, veteran quarterback. Uh, he does have some regular season wins under his belt, albeit against Cleveland in 2017. And Cleveland again in 2016. We all know how bad Cleveland was, but that's a professional team. And he did win. And he did play above average to good. But Josh Dobbs has a stronger arm. He's mobile. And he's cheaper to keep. Uh, Josh Dobbs is only on the books this year for 555000 Landry Jones was on the books for $1.9 million. So they're saving some cap space there. Um, but Josh Dobbs doesn't have any regular season game experience. So, But they feel like he can continue to, I guess, get better, grow. And, you know, we all know his ceiling is much higher than Landry Jones. I think Landry Jones topped off. So we'll see what happens with that. But I wouldn't have had a problem with it either way. I, w I wouldn't have been mad if they had kept Landry Jones. Uh, I, I'm not mad that they kept Josh Dobbs. So we'll see what happens, and hopefully they made the, the right decision. Now, one player I thought that they should have got rid of is Tyler Medikavich. Every time he got into the game, uh, he just didn't do anything. When he got into the Cincinnati game last year when, after Ryan Shazier got hurt, he didn't do anything then. He didn't do anything this preseason. He just doesn't do anything. They like him because of his special teams. Well, I'm like, you got to be awesome on special teams for them to just keep you. And you're awful on defense. And he's not awesome on special teams. He's not a guy that I look at and, Every time there's a punt or a kickoff, he makes the tackle where I say, man, this guy's just awesome on special teams. No. So that's a complete head scratcher right there. You know, they could have kept Keon Adams and let Tyler Medikavich go. That's what I would have did. Because I like Keon Adams' pass rushing skills. And maybe they could have got, got gave him a look at inside linebacker. I don't know. Now, who else on the list? Fitzgerald Toussaint. He's got some running skills. 
But he's a little guy. Five eight, five nine. He isn't all that quick. Um, he gets bound guts and glory more than anything. Um, they tried him on kickoff returns, which I was like, like you know, he he didn't flash on kickoff returns, and they kept putting him back there on kickoff returns, and I would be like, why are you keep putting Fitzgerald Toussaint back there on kickoff returns? But hey. So he's gone. Um, maybe a couple of these guys on this list, they could sneak on the practice squad. I know Tevin Jones, uh, he had a real good game against Carolina, two touchdowns. Maybe they could sneak him on the practice squad. For, um, and who else? Bucky Hodges. He had a good game against Carolina. Uh, he may be a candidate for the practice squad as well, as well as uh, Quadri Henderson. If he can stop fair catching balls and actually return some so we can see what kind of talent he has, uh, maybe he can find a place in the NFL. So hopefully they, you know, and he's fast, so hopefully they may try to sneak him on the practice squad as well. Well, this is the Steelers guru, and that's my reaction to the 53-man roster cuts. I will be doing my position-by-position position season preview starting next week so be on the lookout for that and don't forget to subscribe because i'll be doing a lot more stiller highlights a lot more reaction previews reviews i'm covering all that okay this is me stiller's guru signing out peace